Miss Axie. Miss Molly. What's up, babies? Hey, everybody. Prepper Nurse One here. I thought I would do a second video for you today, something that I thought was interesting, an article that was sent to me by one of my subscribers, and I thought I would share that with you. Um, I'm going to make sure I say the guy's name right. Uh, Burdenstein. He is a NASA administrator, and uh, he was talking about the very real possibility of a meteor hitting the Earth, okay? Now, there's been meteors hitting the Earth, obviously, all the time, depending on the size. There was the one uh, a few years ago that hit over, well, it didn't hit, in, exploded like 15 miles in the air. But they said that uh, when the, the meteor, when it came into Earth's orbit, that it was so bright that it was brighter than the sun. And that uh, people could feel the heat from 63 kilometers away. It's a pretty good distance. So, but I know that it, uh, it, when it exploded, it exploded in the atmosphere, and it had uh, more power than the Hiroshima bomb. And so, uh, you know, again, these are things that uh, we can kind of regulate if we're paying attention to stuff. And so this is what his point was, that we need to be staying on top of this and, uh, you know, paying attention to these objects because the Earth gets impacted every day, guys. Uh, small little things hit the earth, but if one of these bigger objects hits the earth, and I mean a really good size object, we could have our dinosaur extinction uh, event like the dinosaurs did. And uh, he made a great point that the dinosaurs did not have NASA. We do. Uh, we should utilize that. Uh, they had no idea, like with the, I don't think that when that meteor came in, that it was going to do what it did. So. Uh, they're not paying close enough attention to these things. And these are, this is something, when you're talking about something that has more explosive power uh, than, I think it was like 20 tons, the one that blew up over Russia. And freaking mosquitoes. Got them though. <laughs> um, but the, the one, you know, you're, you're talking about a very large, large uh, meteor. And it was traveling, I think they said at 40,000 miles an hour. So think about that. I mean, if it was coming and it was coming down on you, you have no time to react. You really wouldn't because it would just, it'd be on top of you way too fast. By the time you saw it in the sky, it's going to be on top of you if it was coming, you know, in your direction. So uh, these are things that uh, I think we did, something else to add to that we need to pay attention to. And, uh, but definitely uh, very concerning. And so I wanted to talk about that. And uh, so... Oh, and I forgot I was going to mention um, in my earlier video. Uh, so, of course, yesterday's video, as soon as I got to the 8-hour mark, they froze the view count once again. Uh, they see they were, they're dropping my subscribers again today uh, before I put my video up. And I'm just going to mention it because I just, I, I don't know if they think that we're stupid and we don't realize what they're doing. But, uh, so I had my, was at uh, 377. And before I even put my video up, all of a sudden I lost six subscribers all at once. So that's just them taking subscribers away. And I've had plenty of subscribers come back and say that they've been unsubscribed. So I know that's not like an anomaly and, uh, and a, just a strange thing that happened. Uh, generally, as soon as I put my videos up, I end up losing more subscribers. Again, that's YouTube's latest game as well. So they continue to play games. And uh, so like when I did put my video up earlier, and I don't know, maybe because I had war in the title, I don't know. But I think I had three views and I was already demonetized. So I asked for the review, but you know, they don't pay you back for all the views that you had if they give it back to you. Um, so it's not like it's a horrible, ter saying terrible things video. It's talking about a real life situation that's going on. So, I don't know, like I said, a lot of games going on. They don't want to pay people, and I get that, but uh, what are you going to do? So I wanted to um, come in here because I know we set a record today. Because when I checked earlier, we were very, very high up there. And so we're going to check this out. Oh, yeah. We got a new new record here, guys, today. Uh, yesterday, we did 7.6 kilowatt hours, okay? Which was the best day that we had so far this year. Today, combined, we are at 5, 8, 8.8. So we have 4.9 kilowatt hours on this system. 
and we have 3.9 kilowatt hours on this system and they're actually still believe it or not seven o'clock at night now they're both still pulling in power now i don't know if we're going to get enough to uh to get up there to uh you know where each of them could pick up another tenth and that would be that would put us at uh you know nine kilowatt hours for the day but 8.8 .8 kilowatt hours uh, best day that we've had this year. Absolutely fantastic. I cannot complain at all. So it was a great day for solar. Very, very hot today, guys. I mean, we... I know we hit 94 here. Um, and it was very, very warm. So Heather and I went out for a ride. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mention this too, guys, okay? So uh, we had gone for a ride. And uh, town I graduated from high school, Caledonia... We were going through town, and they have a monument um, in the center of town. So we're coming off of a side street, and it has a yield sign. So, you know, yield sign is you can take a look around, see if anything's coming, and you go. So that's what I did, and uh, there was a cop right there. And so we went around the monument like we, we had to, and we started down the road, and he came up behind me and pulled me over. <laughs> and first time, i got to tell you that tale, too. First time I've been pulled over on the bike. So that was... Uh, First time I got pulled over on the bike, but uh, so he came up and uh, you know I got off the bike and uh, took my helmet off and everything like that, and he came out of his car and uh, so he says, uh, "Do you know why I pulled you over?" I said, "I have no idea," and he said, "Did you see that yield sign back there?" And I said, "I did," I said, "And I did yield." He says, "Yeah." He goes, "He goes, I know you did yield." Um, he said. Uh, he said, I'm not going to write you a ticket. He said, you just need to be really careful. It was a, he was a town cop. And he said, you just need to be really careful because people blow through around there. And if they, somebody wasn't paying attention, you could have got hit. So he says, uh, and, and this is, he said to me, he goes, um, do you mind if I run your license to make sure everything's okay? And I, I went just like this, guys. I went, absolutely not. Go right ahead. Uh, I said, I got nothing to hide. He goes, you don't have any tickets or anything like that? I said, I don't have anything. So he was like, okay. So he took my license back, ran my license, uh, came back, handed me my license, and said, all right, you guys have a great rest of your ride. Because, you know, and he asked, he goes, where, where are you coming from? And I said, well, we've gone out to Scottsville. And he says, where are you heading? I said, we're headed home now. And he was like, it's a beautiful day for a ride. I said, absolutely gorgeous day for a ride. And we did get wet again. We got rained on again. So now up here at home, it hasn't rained at all. Um, but when we were down in Scottsville, we caught a shower down there. And at the time, it actually felt really, really good. So, but... Uh, so that's, that was an interesting thing. But we had a really nice ride, very enjoyable, and uh, it was a lot of fun. But uh, it's starting to cool down a little bit now, which is nice. Uh, we have to water the gardens and get that done. i got to show you these tomato plants are starting to really take off now. It's got some little tomatoes on here now. Little tomatoes growing. Uh, the tomato plants are doing really, really well. Now this, these ones here are doing great. Now we have these other ones, they're starting to come now. Uh, they are, I don't know, it was a different breed of tomato. I tried something different, so I don't know what's going on with them. But uh, those ones are not doing as well. They're still, you know, doing okay. But uh, we'll see what happens with that. And in the other garden, the other garden is doing great as well. But uh, So I definitely wanted to talk about this uh, thing again. I get off track way too easy, guys, and I apologize. But, uh, oh. <laughs> I don't know that how that happened. Uh, my phone. All of a sudden, I hear talking, and I'm like, "Wait a minute!" I'm so. Anyway, it's down to 89 right now. <laughs> I just looked on the phone and said it's 89, but it was up to 94. So, you know, it actually feels better. But uh, anyway, um, you know, with this situation, how concerned are you guys out there of a possible meteor strike? Uh, you know, it can happen, guys, anytime without any warning. And I know that they're monitoring some larger objects farther out that are going to possibly come close to Earth. So I know that NASA is doing that. But if one of these smaller ones slipped through and, and hit a major area, it could cause a lot of damage. Um, so, you know, there's, there's that one that hit, I think it was in 1903, and that one also hit in Russia. And that actually impacted the ground. And they went up and they studied that whole area, and it was like a nuclear bomb went off. Uh, it was, uh, but it was a very desolate area. There was nobody there, so in that aspect, it was very, very good. But uh, it was just unbelievable, the damage that was done from that meteor from back then. So, 
A lot of interesting stuff with that. I mean, it's uh, you're talking, excuse me, by the way, if you heard that, I had a little gas, so I apologize. Um, but uh, there's a lot of interesting stuff with that. And like I said, that's a, that's a major game changer. So that definitely something to pay attention to. Now I got to show you this, guys, because this does not happen. Uh, you got Buddy and Lucy, both of them up here together. Uh, these two are always fighting, always fighting. So to see the two of them up there chilling out, it must be too hot to fight today. And we got Miss Socks over there just in torture, as you can see on the ground. But uh, So anyway, guys, I definitely want to hear your feedback on this topic. I want to hear what you have to say. Uh, how do you prepare for that type of an event, okay? We got cats everywhere. Got Max over there, Miss Bella over there. We got Miss Molly right here. So there's six of the cats right there. So just the kittens are not in... I know, um, I don't know where the other... Well, the kittens are around somewhere. But anyhow, a uh, couple things I want to mention before I jump off of here. August 17th, next month, at 9 o'clock in the morning, we're having a prepper get-together at Letchworth State Park in New York, okay? And it's going to be at Eddie's Pavilion, E-D-D-Y-S Pavilion. Uh, starts at 9 in the morning. We're going to run all day. We have the pavilion to 10 o'clock at night, okay? So if anybody is interested in coming to that, you are more than welcome to come. Uh, again, with that, uh, I'm going to be providing hot dogs and hamburgers. I would ask that you would bring a dish to pass, um, a, a dish to pass um, you know, to help feed everybody that's going to come. And uh, if you guys could let me know that you're coming, I would appreciate that. Little Prepper Lady said she's going to bring paper products, and she's going to provide some pop. So, uh, you know, that uh, we're going to have that there. So, again, if you want to bring beer, anything like that, you know, that's bring your own beer type of event. So you're more than welcome to drink at the party. It's not, it's not like it's a, it's a dry party because it's not. But uh, it should be a lot of fun. I did want to mention that uh, we do run, right now we're running a 20% off sale on my entire website, which is all the merchandise, coffee cups, T-shirts, bumper stickers, all those are 20% off. Also, all the other products for the Legacy Food is also 20% off. So if you're looking to add to your long-term food storage, now would be the time to do so. Okay, so I just wanted to put that out there as well. Uh, and what else was I going to say? I was going to say something else, too, and I can't remember what it was now. But anyway, so, guys, please like, comment, share. Um, if you are not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, make sure you hit your bell icon so you get your notifications. And if you are subscribed to me, please make sure they haven't screwed with your bell icon because they're doing that as well. Please make sure you're subscribed. <laughs> so a lot of stuff going on, a lot of games with YouTube. And we just kind of have to ride it out and do what we got to do. So, um, again, guys, remember we are all in this together. That's really, really important. Also, remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. Uh, so that is really, really important. Also remember STD, it's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is yourself. Nobody else can stop you. So that is also important to remember. Stay away from that negativity, stay positive, and you will be fine. All right, guys, I will talk to you tomorrow. Uh, look for me tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, for the live stream, okay? Have a great night. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.